will be off in January. That was Claudia Sabazis reporting there. Well, with the UK launch on Friday of Microsoft's new Surface tablet, it's clear that the company is hoping to muscle in on territory until now dominated by its rival, Apple. Well, despite their lagging fortunes with mobile phones and tablets, Microsoft is still a dominant force in the desktop computer market where they dominate over Apple. More than 80% of the world's desktop computers run Microsoft's operating systems. Apple has just 4% of that market. It's quite a different story, however, when it comes to the mobile and tablet market, though, where Microsoft has less than 1% of sales. Apple, on the other hand, leads the field with 62% of sales. Also, when it comes to company value, Microsoft is worth $235 billion. Apple, on the other hand, has a net worth of nearly $600 billion. Well, here on the streets of London, we asked a few people where they stand in the Microsoft versus Apple debate, and let's hear what they had to say. I use Windows at the moment, although I've got an Android phone, and um, basically because it's an open system, uh, I don't like the idea of the closed Apple ecosystem. That means everything's got to go through Apple, purchased through Apple, and it seems to me that they make most of their money selling the aftermarket bits rather than the hardware. From a, a business point of view, Apple is too limited. So other um, programs, software, are not compatible with Apple. So from a business point of view, I would at the moment not go down the Apple route. I have both Windows and Apple. Um, I think uh, Apple is better. Just, just generally down to the build quality and the reliability that it has. I have an iPad, an iPhone, a Mac, and it all syncs and works very well together. And I know Apple products, and I know they function well. I'm not too familiar with uh, Windows or PC, so that's why I would stay with Mac. Well, some views there in... Uh central London. Well, we're joined here in the studio by Alex Brooks. He's the editor of World of Apple. And we may be joined from the United States by a blogger who is behind the Microsoft fanboys. Alex, so Apple are not going to have their own way on this anymore, are they? Microsoft is definitely muscling in. I'm not sure that is the case, to be honest. Um, I mean, Microsoft is certainly bringing the surface to the market. Um, they're hoping they're going to have some success with it. But as your, as your piece described, Apple really do have a solid lead here. They've got a solid ecosystem of apps, music, movies, books. It's going to be so difficult for the likes of Microsoft or even Amazon to try and get their way in and, and, and to succeed here. All right. Well, we can go to Brad Grew in Houston, Texas. And uh, Brad, so um, it, you're coming into this market, but it's a bit late in the day, isn't it? Apple, way ahead of you. Apple is ahead in the tablet market, but they are not even close in the actual computer market. Um, and I believe that's the strong point for Microsoft, is they're going to get into people's living rooms and their, their dens and their because of what they're familiar with at the office um, and their past PCs. About 250 million PCs are sold so far this year. So um, I think and, you know Apple has a very small uh, sliver of that. So I think overall, Microsoft sure has their um, work cut out for them to catch up in the tablet space, but Windows 8 is such a hybrid device, uh, hybrid ecosystem, that it will actually, it sets itself apart from the iPad, which is basically a mobile operating system on a larger device, okay. where Windows 8 devices, like the Surface, are desktop devices on a tablet themselves. Um, so I think it's, they're, they, they were right in differentiating themselves from the actual iPad itself. It's they're two completely different devices that accomplish many of the same tasks. Mm -hmm. All right, Alex, so, well, you heard that. It's a different device, accomplishes the same task, and it may um, be eating your lunch now. I think Microsoft are in dangerous territory where you're, they're releasing a number of different products, Windows 8 and the Surface, with, which is running Windows RT, and the consumer just doesn't understand the differentiations here. I mean, they go out and they buy a computer, they expect it to run all the Windows software they've come to know. Whereas if they go out and buy this tablet, that's not entirely what they're going to get. In fact, they're going to probably struggle with apps that they think are going to run but aren't going to run. Whereas Apple have really said, okay, 
in your office you have a computer and that's how things are going to be and we accept that, but the average consumer wants to go out, wants a tablet so they can surf the web, go on Twitter, go on Facebook, sat in their living room with ease and, right. and that's just what they want. Brad, what are you going to say to Alex there on that specific point, consumer friendly products? Uh, well, the consumer, he's referring to Windows 8 uh, RT, which is built for the ARM mobile platform. Some users may be confused by not being able to run their full-fledged software on there, but I think Microsoft as a whole, that's one reason that they're selling the Surface only online and in the Microsoft Store themselves, is to communicate that to the customer while they're, while they're in there. They can say, hey, it's an iPad competitor, you can only run mobile-based uh, applications on it. I don't think, I have a lot more respect for the average consumer than that to say they can't comprehend that, hey, this is a mobile platform, it'll only run mobile apps. And I think Microsoft has that respect for the average consumer as well. I, well, I'm not sure I agree, to be honest, because, you know, people like my mum, for example, they're going to simply be confused by this situation. <laughs> you mean and older people, <laughs> Is that what you mean? I disagree, because I've, I've had my mother running on Windows 8 tablet, uh, an Acer Iconia W500 with the development preview and the consumer preview for almost a year, and she loves it. Um, I don't think, I, again, I think they've made it, it's, it's such an intuitive design. They've made it where it's customer friendly. And, you know, there's videos of three-year-olds on YouTube able to comprehend Windows 8. So I think the average consumer can and will. And, you know, a lot of this is going to be about market penetration. And the 250 to 300 million PCs are going to be sold over the next year. And all of those, or the vast majority of those 90 plus percent, will be running Windows 8. So these are the same arguments okay. that were made during Windows 95 and the Windows XP upgrades as well. All People right. like, oh, Let no, the consumer's not going to know what to do, but they, uh, I, they right. will. The, are you going to allow him the knockout round, Alex? Well, I'm not sure because, you know, Apple are dominating here. Um, you know, the numbers are going to have to speak for themselves. They really are when it comes to the iPads. We'll see what happens with Windows 8. I mean, it's a, it's a whole different ball game. So when we're talking tablets, Apple have got the lead. I think they're going to keep it solid and they're going to keep running with it. Alex Brooks uh, for Apple and Brad Grew in the United States and Microsoft. Thanks very much indeed. And that is all from GMT. From me, Zayn Abidawi and the team, goodbye.